get a look at Retgar and Junkie. I know there's been a bit of criticism, especially from me, around uh, this bot being a Septicon. I'm not too happy with it. He's even in Autobot colours. Still very cool, don't get me wrong, but, you know, I said, you know, why don't you just make Retgar, Autobot and Decepticon? Like, no. I, I you know, like Snapdragon. I, I don't see why they brought Junkie, but also why they can't have Retgar for both as such, really. This is what decided. I think it's more from Hasbro rather than the Apes. They probably asked, you know, can they pair someone with um, Retgar and maybe this is what they come up with. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, still looks pretty cool regardless. There's a junkie on. And let's be honest, it is a bit disappointing that you got the you look like an Autobot, but it's more about what the ability does. That's what's most important. So Rick Gar with his G1 looking very G1-ish, if that's a word. Very cool. Uh so we've got at uh 7010, we've got tag any ally in the battlefield, including yourself. But when when it says that, I said that it sounds a bit confusing. What that means is that you don't tag an ally and you get the ability as well. It means you can tag yourself. When the ally or you are about to die, revive them or yourself with 80% health. So basically, it's like a vector core in a way. It, it, I think it still needs clearing up. I did say to the apes that this is a bit confusing, the whole wording. Uh, you also grant the ally or yourself, again, really confusing, invulnerability for six seconds. So... In Lehman's terms, how this works is you tag a bot and the bot will come back to life. So what does Ability 11 do? So Ability 11 literally just brings them back with 100% health. So I wouldn't say it's a massive difference, but it's decent. It's all right. I like that. You know, it's from 80 to 100, gives a bit more health. Now, 6 plus 8, there has been a lot of talk about the cost. So when we first got this bot, it was pretty good right out the bat. There was three main conversations about this bot. One was how it heals, one was about its cost, and the other one was about its G1 core and what it should do. We were all happy with the ability. I think it's really good. The ability 11 is good. No problem with that. So I think the initial cost was like 10 plus 5 or something stupid like that. And I just said, that is ridiculous. And also people have looked at that and gone, 6 plus 8 is really, really cheap. But here's how I put it down. That if you use... This ability, which costs six ability points, which is not cheap, and your bot doesn't die or battle, that's six ability points wasted. If you use this at the beginning of a battle, because you can use it at any point, and that bot doesn't die for two and a half minutes, you've, you've kind of wasted six ability points, because by that point, then you don't really need him. And you can't control when he's going to die unless you're going to sacrifice him. You kind of use it as an insurance. So when you get insurance on your house, you might pay insurance all your life, and you might never use that insurance. So you think, but well, is that a good thing then, paying that insurance? You're wasting all that money. But it's a what if. What if this happens? And that's what Red Gar is. He's a what if. What if this happens? You're going to get a bot back. If you, you make a mistake and you lose a bot, you can get it back. But is that something you can plan in though, maybe? I'm not going to put a G1 core on because it's still in testing. But let's take a look. We'll put a, a lower health. We'll put a robuster down there. I'll put Retgar down. So, we can literally use Retgar right now. You see his range is absolutely huge. Entire map, so anywhere on the map. So, literally, we put this down. We can bless him. And he'll start to heal him. Beam laser taking him out. He's losing health. The apes have said they're going to try and put some sort of visual effect on so you know it's that bot that has been blessed. But as it takes damage, and yeah, he's going to kill that defense, which is not going to help. There he is. You can see, bang, back to 80% health. So don't forget we haven't given ability 11 yet, but back to 80% health. So what we could do now is, you know what? We can bless him again. We can bless him again now that he's um, back to life. Then he starts taking damage again. He's going to die again. Boom! Back to 80% health again. And you know what? We can bless him again. We can keep doing this over and over. Now, I wouldn't use it twice because it's going to override it. 
So if you bless the bus again, you're only going to get one revival. So you need to really wait until he's revived back to do that. But as you can see, really, really cool. Now, as a few of you might have noticed, his healing came up with a discussion. So he actually heals like first aid, not like Minerva, like Ratchet and like Wheeljack. He heals in an area, not directly. So when you compare to Minerva, so Minerva heals a 466 to one bot. When you look at Ratchet, 455 healing to one bot. But when you compare Redgar, it's only 341, but it's in an area. So he heals for more bots. So once you get, if you're just healing one bot, is not going to heal for as much but if you can keep your team in a cluster you're going to get a lot more healing out of that you're going to get 341 in an area when you compare that to the likes of first aid who has 296 in an area it's a direct upgrade from first aid and also what you have to consider is the health so minerva's health is at 10k at 67 um ratchet's at 13k and Redgar's at 15, 16k, I think it is, 15.5k. So, a lot more health as well. So, it's a health upgrade. It's a healing upgrade. Now, if you're looking for a bot to heal one bot, then Redgar's not going to do quite as much. But like I said, an area could be really, really good. If you equip Rung, he will do more healing to the bot he's trying to heal, but less AoE healing. So, I believe you add Rung, it, that might go up to like 450 may maybe but it'd be 450 to the main bot and then around that i think wrong does like is it 30 percent in an area or something like that then he will get like 120 to everything else in that area so it's not really a good idea putting wrong on a bot like um red guy combat bot, bot, combat bot wise so if you're looking for a combat bot for red guy i would probably advise a minion i'm sure you're thinking was a you just said the bot's really good ability is really good has a lot of health What's what's the bad bit? And there's it's only one bad thing about this bot. And it's not a massive deal. And for me, I like that. I don't like a bot that is all powerful like this. Like, you know, when we talk about Minerva, amazing ability, amazing healing, but lacks health. That's her downfall, is her health. And the one downfall Redgar has is that when you bring this bot back to life, the anti-healing cores affect that healing amount so let's put let's put skids down let's put red guy down so i'm gonna hit him with the blessing to bring him back to life again and then under the anti-healing core when he dies he only comes back with 20 percent health because the healing build block blocks a portion of that health. It blocks 80% at a max level. So it just means that if you want to use Redgar, then you need to take out them anti-healing build bots. Because they reduce 80% of the health. Now I know some people in the chat have been saying, oh yeah, I'm going to backdoor this base and all that. You know what? That's fine. Because you know what? If people don't want you to backdoor the base, use anti-healing build bots. You've got your answer there. Because then you've got to use a cost to take all them out. And then you've got to then use Retgar's ability, which is going to cost you as well. So that's why the repeat cost is still quite high. So I'm fine with that. It's a counter for Retgar. Every bot should have some sort of counter. And this is his counter. But it's not a big deal, guys. As you can see, you've got these build bots that are affecting a bot's use. Just take them out. You know, same for Trax when Trax was, you know, in the meta and that FFD came out, the force field disruptors that stopped Trax's use. Everyone was like, oh my God, I'm losing their minds. But, you know, just take the build bot out and you can still use Trax. But I like the way that this is going now. It's starting to sort of become a thing where you can look at a base and go, okay, this is why Warpass come back because no one's using the healing build bots. You know, when the FFD was not around, Pipes was all powerful. And now with people running FFD, Pipes is, I would say, struggling. He's still one of the, probably the best bot in the game. But it's something to consider. It's a counter for Pipes. But as we counter Pipes with FFDs, it brings Warpath back into the game again. So, you know, as people are looking for uh, glass gas mines, you know, the motion sensors I use less. 
that means it opens for sack attack again. So as the meta shifts, old bots become more relevant again. So I really, really do like that. And I really do like this bot. Is he better than Minerva? In terms of healing? No, I don't think he is. And people will say, but it's a healer, was I? So, of course, if Minerva's better at healing than Retgar, then surely he's not as good. It's a different kind of bot. He's not as good as Minerva, but with his healing... It just has an extra element of healing into him. And that insurance added to a bot can be really, really important when something goes wrong. And that just happens to me sometimes where I plan something and I lose a key bot. And so sometimes you've got to take a, a plan B for that insurance. But this is even plan C. And especially with these front-loaded base of resources, I think Redgar is going to be absolutely huge and might even single-handedly change the meta like Pipes did. That important so if you're on the fence about going for the five star guys honestly i would advise you to go for it if you're a low level player and you think you can go for the four star even if it's free to play doing about 35k i'd advise you to go for it because even the four star is looking really really good so yeah get in there guys go and get this five star looking really really good i don't think you're going to regret it going for it i think it's be always decent in the meta you're always going to need a bot back to life so yeah uh let me know what your plans for endurance are, and if you are going for it, then good luck, guys.